All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got an amazing story to give to you. Semi-breaking news right now where we have the Dustborn CEO. Yes, the CEO of the company Red Thread Games, the one who made that abysmal game Dustborn. They have just released an article with Gamer.no that essentially blames all of you for the reason why Dustborn failed. No, it's not their fault. It's not the fault that they made essentially an Antifa simulator. It's not the fault that they made a game that was funded by government money to essentially push propaganda to younger people in the hopes to garner more activists in the future. No, no, no. It's not any of their faults. It's your fault. The gamers. It is your fault. It's my fault. It's the fault of the chuds for why this game bombed. What fella you're with? Uh, the black kid? Dresses like a writer? Does he know anything? You are racist. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, this article is very reminiscent of what happened with Alyssa Mercante's article when she wrote about Sweet Baby Inc. This entire article serves as damage control. The amount of lies that is in this article would blow your mind. I am not kidding. It is absolutely insane what they try to pass off here as fact when anybody reading this who has any thing close to a brain cell can be able to tell you that that is not the case whatsoever so let's get into this article from gamer.no but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm so the headline reads dustborn developer opens up after brutal launch caught us completely off guard red thread games has endured hate and threats after the launch of their new game their ceo is worried for the future of the industry Our are you really? Are you really worried for the future of the industry, considering that you're making video games that don't have to be profitable in order for your company to continue working? Isn't that incredible? The man who is governmentally funded, the one who literally gets all his money from the government and doesn't have to make a single dollar from the sale of his game. It's it's insane. He's like, oh, I'm so scared for the industry. What an absolute liar. Here we go with the victim narrative. It's going to be great. This was written by Mick Jell Lawning, whoever the hell that is. It says Ragnar Tornquist is one of the leading figures in the Norwegian game industry. He has worked in game development for nearly 30 years and loves his job. Clearly not. It is his, high, his greatest passion. However, the launch of Dustborn, the newest game from Red Thread Games, has forced him to seriously reconsider whether game development is something worth pursuing. Listen, man, if you're thinking about quitting or not quitting, I'm just going to tell you right now, don't worry about it. I got you. Quit. Please quit. Get the fuck out of the gaming industry. Nobody wants you here. You are an absolute bane to the existence of the gaming industry. If you are here for 30 plus years and it took you this long to sell your soul to activism, you might as well just get out now. Hopefully you saved enough money because clearly you don't need to make any more money, right? You're getting all the money in the world possible as a CEO for a company that's funded by the government. I'm sure you got plenty of money. However, the launch of Dustborn, the newest game from Red Thread Games, has forced him to seriously reconsider the game development is worth pursuing is it worth living this way when you have a family what do you mean what do you mean this is the same person who made a video game that tries to teach people about how to cancel someone how to bully someone how to perform hoaxes this is the same company that literally employs those same tactics that they're complaining about how to bully someone all of it is in the game and it shows you how to do it and it's really on the nose and trust me before you try to come up with the excuse well, well you didn't play the game guess what i did play the game i played the entire game and it's a piece of shit and and I know exactly what the game offers. While critics have received Dustborn in a somewhat lukewarm fashion, criticism has flooded social media. Many have reacted strongly, came in the, uh, claiming the game pushes a woke agenda. It does. It does. Conspiracy theories are about no, it's not a conspiracy theory as much as you want it to be. And we all know that it's not. And we know what happens when game urinalists use terms like this. It means they have no other argument. This game is 100% a woke agenda filled game. There is no doubt about it. I will 100% Go after anybody who tries to say otherwise because I actually played the game. And everything in this game is a leftist paradise. Everything in this game. It literally teaches you everything about progressivism and leftism and liberalism. Everything. Their entire strategy is showcased here on full display for everybody to see when playing this game. Tornquist has been through situations before. He lives at a secret address and has an unlisted phone number precisely because he knows how intense fans can be. Well, I mean, fans are short for fanatics, so 
Is that really shocking? But nothing could have prepared it for what happened with Dustborn. Of, of course. Listen, you're making a game that it's an Antifa simulator. You're making a game that is showcasing activism as the forefront of the game's story. Why would you think that this would get you anything other than backlash is, re is beyond me? Of course he knew. Of course they knew what was going to happen. They're just trying to play the victim of, oh, we never saw it coming. The wave of hate. Oh, shut the fuck up. This is his power up called hoax, by the way. Okay, because hoax is in the game and he's using that exact power right now in this article. He is hoaxing people into believing that he's getting attacked for no reason. He won't go into detail about everything he's heard, but Tornquist claims that there has been both harassment and threats. You can easily ignore what's said on forums or on X. Emails feel a little closer to home, but receiving text messages where someone wishes you dead is unsettling, he says. Can you show it? Can you show it? Are you going to show it? Are you going to prove? No, you're never going to show it. You never fucking show it. Several videos about Tornquist have surfaced on YouTube. This one included, by the way. One video claims that Tornquist has said he wants to drown babies. I don't know if that's true, but I do know he's heavily racist against his own people. So there's that. That is obviously pure fabrication, but Tornquist finds it uh, surreal. It should be fairly obvious that I don't want babies to die, he says, laughing in frustration. You sure about that? I think it's outrageous. There's no way I can get this removed, and it's a very damaging lie. I just have to ignore it and hope people are smart enough to understand that it's not true. I'm pretty sure that somebody like you believes in abortion no matter what term, which, by the way, means that you're okay with killing babies, okay? I, I, you may not be drowning them, but you damn sure are sucking them out like a vacuum. You're damn sure tearing apart their body at like a, with, a, with a vacuum. I, I know it sounds nasty, but we need to be real about it. This is why so many women are perfectly fine, young women are perfectly fine with having abortions as a form of birth control because they don't see the actual effects that happen. They don't see the body parts. They don't see the baby being pulled out. They don't see the little baby dying right before their eyes even though it can breathe at six months, seven months, whatever. They don't see that. All they see is get sucked out and they don't see a single thing happen and they go about their merry day with a little card saying congratulations we killed your baby it's just it's ridiculous man uh then it says blown out of proportion on social media many are drawing parallels between red thread games dustborn and firewalk studio studio uh shooter concord red thread's office is in islo or oslo houses 12 people firewalk has 165 employees and sony a billion dollar company backing it as a publisher uh nobody's gonna feel sympathy for little old red thread games because while sony is backing firewalk studios as a publisher the government is backing dustborn's developer red thread with their money so you got government backing and they got sony backing both of them are very powerful so i'm sure you're going to be a-okay he says we are a tiny studio that's why i feel so blown out of proportion when we experience so many attacks and consp uh, conspiracies it takes a toll red thread's goal is to create story-driven games that stand out they aim to make something innovative and fresh there is nothing innovative and nothing fresh about Dustborn. That game is an absolute trash heap. It does everything that other games do but worse, and it is just a literal piece that exists to be propaganda. The developer has always made games that are different, often featuring characters that are a bit out of the ordinary. That means many people don't like their games, and Tornquist is fine with that. They have their niche. Their games aren't for everyone. You're fine with that because you don't have to make games for a profit. That's why you're fine with it. You are governmentally funded. They give you the money. You don't even have to pay it back. You take the money, you use it to fund your projects, and you pay yourselves a nice salary for the entire year for however many years that you work, and you put out these garbage games because you don't actually have to find a player base. And the couple of people that do buy your game, great. You made a couple of bucks extra. But ultimately, that's just bonus money for you. That's not actually money that you have to utilize to develop future games or to keep your studio alive. It's been really tough to deal with this. Uh, we're used to people not liking our games, but we appreciate well-argued reviews, even if they're negative. No, you don't. See, that's the thing. They say that all the time, but it's gaslighting because they don't actually look at well-argued rev uh, reviews because if they do, they would just call it, oh, it's fake, it's anger, it's hate, it's rage bait. That's what they try to say. The difference here is the massive amount of negative feedback from people who have never played the game and never will. They just jump on the bandwagon of those making videos, says Tornquist. Well, stop right there. I played the game in its entirety from start to finish, all 10 chapters, unfortunately. And I'm just here to let you know it's a 1 out of 10. OK, the game is absolute garbage for many different reasons. You want to talk about the shoddy gameplay. You want to talk about the terrible dialogue. You want to talk about the horrible voice acting. You want to talk about the, the the fucking terrible animations. You want to talk about the real obvious on the nose progressive politics and agenda being pushed in the game. You want to talk about the obvious fucking 
Like, I, I just, I could keep going and going about Dustborn, but at the end of the day, they're going to try to just pass it off as Rage Bait because they don't like the review that's coming out of my mouth. The game is trash, and it is known to be trash. And you stop this whole gaslighting about, oh, they never played the game, so they don't have to, they shouldn't have an opinion. That's not how this works, okay? I've never eaten shit, but I know that I'm not going to eat shit. Why? Because patterns tell me that people who have decided to eat shit think it's absolutely nasty. And science has told me that it's not exactly the best thing to do. So now with information garnered from others and with patterns experience, I know to avoid that particular shit. Whereas with Dustborn, a lot of people are listening to YouTubers that they trust. A lot of people are listening to reviewers that they trust. And people are all saying the same exact thing about Dustborn. The only ones who aren't saying the same thing about Dustborn are the ones who are giving you a 7 out of 10 safe number IGN certified banger nobody trusts them so why would they listen to them this is why your game is failing miserably then he says we have to take the threat seriously one of his most important tasks as a leader has been to shield his employees from the worst of it before the launch they talked about how they should avoid reading social media and focus on the positives instead they try to lift each other up by sharing the good feedback they receive so basically what you're saying is that you are choosing to have your head in the sand you are choosing to be in an echo chamber you are choosing to listen to nobody other than people that agree with you or people who will show for you you are the exact thing that is wrong with the gaming industry you don't want to learn from your mistakes you don't want to learn from your issues and you just want to blame everybody else you want to blame the gamers you want to blame the chuds you want to blame the youtubers you guys hate youtubers so much because you cannot control most of them you can control some of them some of them who are stupid enough to bend over for you because you're going to get give them free swag or something like that but most youtubers you cannot control unlike the mainstream access media that you can easily control because they're all losers so at the end of the day man you only got yourself to blame it's not our fault that your game sucked and if you didn't want people to give you so much backlash on the game maybe you shouldn't have been telling them how terrible they are unless they were a liberal with that kind of a game because that's essentially what you did in this propaganda being disguised as a video game so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out